As you probably know, I'm a little bit of a KTM fanboy, so you can imagine how excited I am for 2020 as our favourite bonkers orange Austrians bring us three all new motorcycles. We're getting a new 1290 Super Duke R, which looks absolutely fantastic. A brand new 890 Duke, which is the big brother to the 790. They're calling it the Super Scalpel. And seven years in the making, we finally get to see the baby adventure bike, the 390 Adventure. And in fact, all of these bikes were put on display up at Motorcycle Live at the NEC in Birmingham. And this is what I got to see as I checked out the KTM stand. And headlining the lineup for 2020 is the third iteration of the Beast. This is the 1290 Super Duke R. And here we can see the fully power part kitted out version of the bike held in such high regard that it was put on a plinth out of the way of the baying mob beneath it. Uh, but I did manage to get up close to it and get some great shots. And while we can see that this, of course, isn't a brand new bike, it's the third evolution, there are plenty of pretty significant updates uh, that hopefully will enable this bike to stave off the competition next year. We've got refinement to the engine, the chassis, the suspension, and even the electronics get an overhaul too. So starting out with the legendary V-twin, the LC8, it's now lighter, it's more powerful, generating around 177 horsepower and about 103 foot-pounds of torque as well. It's about 1.7 pounds lighter than the previous version, and that comes through evolutions in the engine case which is now thinner along with revised cooling and oil mounts as well. Elsewhere we've got new top feed injectors, new 58 millimeter throttle bodies which will also improve the fueling and this bike can breathe easier too with a new ram air system for 2020 and you'll notice it also has an entirely new exhaust system this of course is all about euro 5 compliance as well as performance and it looks almost intestinal as it's kind of wrapped around the bottom of the bike here and uh, it looks particularly good in this nicely blued off titanium version which can be all yours through that power parts catalog as ktm like to do ktm say that they've also improved the gearbox on this version it's got a shorter shift actuation we've got a massive update in terms of the frame design that's really one of the biggest changes on the 2020 bike you'll notice way less scaffolding than on the previous version that steel trellis frame is now stripped right back saving around 4.4 pounds ktm also say it's three times stiffer as well and looking at the subframe again we see big changes here with the old trellis frame deleted and now replaced with this composite design again that's all about saving weight it's a longer bike than ever before as well it's been stretched out by about half an inch that's all about giving you better stability and finally on the beast we get fully adjustable suspension it's about time uh, we've got a new 48 millimeter wp apex fork up front Elsewhere, the wheels have been redesigned and gone are the old snowflakes of yesteryear in favor of this more minimal and of course lighter weight five spoke layout featuring Bridgestone's very latest Battleax S22 rubber. The fuel tank on the 1290 Super Duke R for next year is all new. As you can see here, it's been re-sculpted and redesigned to better help support the rider. It's ever so slightly smaller than the previous version, but not a major difference. Uh, although the rider position itself seems to be pretty much the same. And Taming the Beast, we have a pretty well specced out electronics package, six axis IMU that comes as standard as well as of course the ability to unlock extra features in that electronic system. Things like track mode and MSR can be yours for an extra charge. Although the standard package is pretty comprehensive, you get things like cornering ABS, lean sensitive traction control, wheelie control, cruise control, and of course, KTM's MyRide connectivity as well. As you would expect, we've got a TFT and it's looking gorgeous up front here. And on the bars, we've got a new paddle button layout that will help you navigate through the various modes and settings too. Finally, up front, we've got that gorgeous, iconic KTM headlights that of course is LED. And last but not least, we've got a brand new paint job for next year as well. It comes in blue and orange now, which on paper really shouldn't work, but actually in the flesh, it looks pretty hot. And also on the KTM stand drawing a lot of attention was the new hardcore Duke. This is the bigger brother of the 790 Duke. This thing is lightweight, it's performance focused, it is ready to rip up a track near you, but it's also potentially quite a practical road bike as well. It is of course the 890 Duke, or as KTM are calling it, the Super Scalpel. 
And here it is, the evil twin. Uh, and of all the bikes from KTM next year, I reckon this one has the potential to be the most exciting. It looks like it's gonna be a great package, both on the street and also on the track. Uh, it's really up to the game in every area where the 790 left off with more power, more torque, less weight, racier ergonomics, and of course, it now has fully adjustable WP suspension too. Putting out a decent 119 horsepower at around 9,250 RPM with 73 foot-pounds of torque at 7.7K. The 890 gains around 16 horsepower, 250 RPM later in the rev range and nine foot-pounds of torque 250 rpm earlier so it is a more aggressive bike all round in terms of engine performance ktm have confirmed that this bike also has the same gear ratio and slip assist clutch as the previous bike and taming the super scalpel is a set of readily mounted uh, brembo style lemma calipers we've got 320s up front and 240s on the back cornering abs yes you get that bosch imu check cornering traction control check that as well it's a complete package in terms of electronics the uh, drive my weight is down by around three kilograms to 166 kg. Uh, add in around 14 liters of fuel, oils, batteries, and we're gonna land around the 190 kg mark as you ride off the forecourt. And soaking up the bumps, we've got 43 millimeter WP Apex forks and an Apex shock on the rear. It's gonna cost around 10,000 pounds in the standard form. But as you can see on this model, there are plenty of ways that you can spend more money in that power parts catalog. Things like wavy discs, titanium pipes and of course various bits of orange bling as KTM do and I have to say the fully kitted out version of this bike on display at the NEC looked absolutely awesome. And finally, we have KTM's baby adventure bike, the 390 Adventure. This one's been about seven years in the making, so fans have been very patiently waiting for this one. But if you're looking for something that's almost akin to a dual sport, something you can do some miles on the tarmac, but also have some fun on the dirt roads as well, a bit of light luggage, this could be a fantastic solution. Now, I made a full video on this bike, link in the description and on the screen now. It's a great little lightweight adventure bike with that balance of practicality on the street and the right capability to do a bit of light dirt as well. The engine is exactly the same lump, the 373cc single from the Duke. It puts out around 43 horsepower. We've got WP Apex suspension giving you around seven inches of travel with around 7.8 inches of ground clearance too. Wet weight is not too bad actually. It's around 175 kilograms. It's not super light, but it's not terribly bad for a bike that also has road capabilities as well. It's not really a dead dedicated dirt bike so you know it's going to be a little bit heavier uh, bearing in mind it has to have all of the bits and pieces you need for the road. It's got a decent sized tank which will give you around 250 miles of range. The wheels are cast there's no spokes or indeed any sign of an R version as yet but we will see if KTM want to treat us to that uh, in the next year or so. So there you have it that's KTM's lineup for 2020. Three new bikes all very exciting in different ways. A newly updated 1290 Super Duke R which looks fantastic. I cannot wait to check out the Super Scalpel, the 890 Duke plus we've also got the Baby Adventure bike as well. If you're looking for something a little bit more dual sport the 390 adventure could be just the ticket don't forget to hit subscribe to the channel We've got more videos coming up from motorcycle live in the next few days and until the next one ride safe